Good evening, everybody. System Jock here with the 29th episode of I Upscribe the Apostle Obstinate, and we are going to be trying to finally put the Hebe Stanton to bed tonight. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, If you and you can hit the notification bell if you would like to get uh, informed when these videos become available, but until further notice, they will uh, be Monday, uh, sorry, Wednesday and Friday uh, uploads available at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. So uh, the Hebe Stanton is already kind of being taken care of. The last step that we really need uh, to take here is to put uh, Enid inside of, the, inside of the cult members, and then I think we'll need to put another funds uh, to be able to get past the door. I don't believe the door can cause any... Uh, I don't believe it can cause us to lose followers. The worst it can do is uh, give us some expenses. That'll be a big shame if we wind up running out of money on the Hebe Stanton, but I'm feeling reasonably confident about it. We've already healed up our fallen cult members, so we're good there. Um, Paul Samuelson's going to be sending us a vial of their most precious blood, so I'm going to have to find a way of getting rid of that, but I believe I should be able to use that in one of my... Uh, I should be able to use that in one of my rituals. And we're on our way to getting the last... Uh, sort of the last improvement towards our, um, our, uh, our intelligence, our reason. So that'll free me up to use uh, to read all of the text that we'll eventually get from the Hebe Stanton, although I do still need to get Latin, so at some point I will try and buy some books from Moorlands to try and get a copy of that. Uh, or maybe we'll just find it in one of, the, one of the regions. I haven't quite decided what I want to do about that yet. So let's carry on. The air is th curdled now. I am home again in this lump in flesh. Better, perhaps. So let's go back to the... Let's go back through the stag door. Stag door is the Adept's gate. To pass through it is to be initiated into the first true mystery of the House of the Sun. The head gear be weeks, weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred valves of the door grind open. A courier has arrived from our delight with a vial of their most holy blood. Who is our delight? Our fountain, our joy, who rests in exile until the greatest of feasts, the vitulation. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a minute here and... I think we've already got what we need, but I am going to talk about, uh, well, talking publicly about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. And so here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to, um, I'm just trying to make sure that we don't have any more people to add to the cult. Um, I believe, I believe we're full up, but I should probably just double check that anyway. All right, we have an attack, so the immortal in the shadows ponders their next move. Uh, looks like we didn't successfully delay them this time. So, at a certain angle, my thoughts reflect the Mansa's light. Our enemy seeks to learn that angle. So, if we have fascination, bad things are going to happen. The clerks file out in silence. I am free for now. So, I do... do need to think for a minute here. So, if I paint, I'm probably going to wind up with more mystique. Oh, actually, here's an idea. I think this is probably just going to result in more mystique overall for me, but... Actually, you know what? I'm going to... Try and really push it. I didn't even think about what inspiration I wanted. Um, we won't paint with... Uh, we won't paint any of the Mansus imagery just because it's... Uh, that's going to wind up being something uh, that the Suppression Bureau doesn't care for. Uh, let's preserve this fleeting reminiscence just in case. So I suspect the Mystique is still going to get picked up here, but just on the odd chance we're able to paint it out. Our enemy has searched the Mansus Hall for a glint of my reflected thoughts and has found nothing. Ah, well. Oh no! I lost all that money um, by not paying attention. So, unfortunately, I uh, I didn't put the money I didn't put the money in, uh, and instead we, uh, you know, <laughs> all that effort is now gone. Their bewilderment's opportunity will pass in silence. Supplies are low. Unless I send uh, more funds, we will have to abandon the expedition, and uh, we can try again when the dust has settled. I got some dread for leaving it. 
that's a big blunder on my part. But we will try again with better knowledge. Okay, so this time we know that we need to cross the sea first, so we'll bring Clovet and Dorothy. It's rare for passenger visit, uh, vessels to visit the Grim Island where the Hebe Stanton is docking, but we can charter a fishing boat and trust the sea behaves. The real work of passing guards and doors will begin if we get on board. Expeditions need at least one funds per obstacle. Followers will defeat uh, obstacles. If you run out of funds or followers, the expedition ends. So, heart, moth, knock, and we're good to go. And that'll be the order that I add the cultists in. I do need to deal with this dread, though. Alright, stillness is a virtue, so there's my chili arc's lesson, extra reason, and now we have a silent intensity. This chili stillness is the stillness of certainty. Which, of course, works wonderfully, given what just happened on the Hebe Stanton. Ike up scribe has now just become very, very quiet after learning, learning about those losses. Okay. Uh, is there anything I can do with the study verb right now that I haven't been paying attention to? We can't read the Bancroft diaries. We've used the explore verb, so I'm going to say unless I want to start moving... Well, yeah, I could start doubling up some... I could start doubling up some knowledge. So, requires knowledge. This is a puzzle piece with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in odd corners of scholarship to upgrade uh, or subvert this fragment. You'll need erudition or an HQ with a library. Well, we don't have an HQ yet. Well, beyond the temporary headquarters. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can get some erudition easily. So I'll get two just in case. But I think what I'm going to start doing is upgrading some of my existing lore, um, seeing as I don't have anything else to do with the, uh, with the learning. All right, well, we won't pay for the colors of the night because we might need, uh, might need the money for expeditions. And let's do the Ascent of Knives again. Oh, well, that would have been helpful. <laughs> uh, bitter atmosphere. Winter passes the clothes, passes the skin, nestles in the veins. I visited the Ascent of Knives last night, that harshest of roads through the house. It has been sacred to the Menescate and the sun in rags since the Entercalate, when the true sun was divided. When I woke, my room was freezing. The chill of it had cracked the window glass. So I've got a couple of things that I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of the, uh, the dread and I want to get rid of the bitter atmosphere. I also eventually want to get rid of old and happy far-off things, but let's take one thing at a time. So I may get some contentment from painting. Um, I can't do a ritual to get rid of the bitter atmosphere right now, so dream-wise, let's just go straight back through the stag door. Oh, here's my contentment. Although that'll go... No, we'll, we'll have it just in time. So some days are better than others. Sometimes the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet. Sometimes the river runs clear. Should have thought about that. Because I, I, I knew that that contentment was... Well, I had the, I had the ability to know that that contentment was, was coming in. A half glimpse wistfulness has touched me, so I need to get rid of that restlessness at some point. Okay. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. So let's add the... F oh, we're already running short. Okay, well, I'll add the funds now, and we'll add the followers later. Just trying to think if there's anything I can sell, but I don't have access to the... I don't have access to the um, auction house. Nope. Lots going on here. My recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. So, fleeting reminiscence won't exactly help me right now. More mystique. We've got fascination. I can combine that with the fleeting reminiscence. Uh, more contentment, which is good. So, even if we lost that one, we're fine. More glimmering. Alright, still have the staleness, and we at least made some money for our effort, but not that much. So, Season of Vision's coming up in 18 seconds. This gives the fascination a higher priority. However, we can just add the fascination and dread and just eliminate the problem altogether. Our spy has returned to us. So... Why are you here? Let's 
it's a very... Ah, okay, so the pond's in the wrong spot. Okay. There we go. Slee's still heading in on the... Uh, we, we need a spy, so we'll... We'll keep Slee looking at... Uh, looking at the long. Um, the Dread and Fascination are going to cancel each other out in 15 seconds, except that we're going to have the Season of Vision. Okay, well, this will actually wind up uh, resolving itself anyway. So, Storms rise for the Thunderskin and subside for the Sister. The right words should carry us safe across the sea. Now, I won't have an option about using this funds. They're going to get picked up no matter what. Um... This, I think, generates fast... No, let's try. I'm ready to improve. The Painted River runs from the Great Chamber and near the White Door, far through the Mansus to its far edge, where it enters a painted delta of far cloud. I voyaged half its length last night with a stern-faced captain beneath a red, rest red sail. As the clouds rose before us, the sailors raised a yearning shanty and close hauled the sails to best use the painted wind. And all the while, the captain and I discoursed of the secrets of the House of the Sun. So again, we don't exactly need the erudition at the moment, but we do. Uh, we will get it from upgrading. We will use erudition in terms of the upgrade, so that's not uh, it, that's not a bad thing that we got that. Although it will take a while, I don't believe you can use a lesson learnt in that particular context. Okay. So I'm going to need a minute here just to review the situation. So this Dread's going to be kicking around for 103 seconds. This Fleeting Reminiscence will not be around, so we'll let the Dread mellow the fascination. There's the erudition I wanted. So in the absence of anything else to do with my study verb, let's start upgrading lore. So study the lore which opens. There are incantations of unseeming, where the space between the words is as potent as the actual syllables. When a thing is opened, we know its nature. Any lore studied with knock becomes knock. And the nice thing here is that uh, having a high-level knock lore is going to help me get some uh, summonings done. So, we'll carry on there. I should probably figure out what I want to do with my dream verb. Well, um... I don't think I can do anything with my restlessness. Yeah, I didn't really think carefully about about using my talk verb. Uh, I actually need to find something to do with restlessness, and I'm not able to put it into anything right now. So that's going to be a problem. We will also have a season of sickness, so it might have been better for me to do some, you know, um, a, go for a brisk walk. So I'm also going to have some disease to deal with fairly soon. And then this icy atmosphere is going to turn into dread. So we're actually going to have a pretty big dread debt uh, waiting for us fairly soon. Again, there's not a lot that I can do at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go through the white door. This is going to seem a little unusual, but one, the health will provoke uh, heart. So we might get lucky. We, almost, we may also generate uh, some sort of heart. Why is Sylvia on top of or under Leo? Oh, right, because... It all right, never mind. It all fits. I'm adding the uh actually do we have anybody with a a wound that's helpful here? No. Wave lashed and sea spattered, sun scorched and salt stained, but here. Uh, case of mistaken identity, this isn't who you hope for after all. There are no one in particular importance, and eventually they'll pass from your memory. Perhaps there is no one else available that you'd care to meet. All right, so I suspect we got that before, but I wasn't 100% sure where we were as, followers, as far as followers are concerned. So we're fine. We don't need to worry about, uh, about newcomers anymore. I do have to deal with all of these negative emotions, though. Um, so in 16 seconds, I'll be able to spend money again. Uh, or I might just wait it out. I gotta figure out where I'm going with that. Let's get, uh, let's get into a slightly safer position. So Dread's coming from here, Dread's coming from here. We already have this Dread. Actually, if I'm lucky, this one doesn't get picked up because it's only a minute until it goes away. 
So maybe I paint with this one to preserve it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll do one Mystique and three Passion. This is just in hopes of getting rid of the... Uh, this is still in hopes of getting rid of the... Um, uh, of uh, the staleness. And then let's bring one of our hangers on in. Uh, let's do a... Well, it probably won't matter for this person. I was just thinking if I could get Heart involved, but um, I guess it doesn't really matter which one I bring in. But we'll turn this hanger on into something a little more meaningful. And then... Right, we don't have the Restlessness, so we don't have the Grail, but I can take the Delightful Blood, which is going to turn into Dread, and we will bring them in that way. So usefully malleable, but they'll probably never amount to much. All right, we're getting back into shape. We don't know what the next action is yet. Hopefully Slee will report back. All right, this is going to gobble up my money, so I'm not able to do anything about that. Uh, let's just get the extra moth, moth follower in. And there's that disease we were, we knew was coming. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Orchard of Lights. So this is good. This will turn into a vitality. It just might turn into a vitality a bit too late. So pulsing air is a rising power, a reassuring energy, a six order influence, significant resonances or correspondences. This can be used in some rates to summon minions. So the reason I did this was just, uh, this was something that could potentially generate some vitality for me. Um, the hours have been called unmerciful, but they permit sleepers sometimes to walk in the orchard of lights where each fruit glows like a sunset. Or the roofs of trees are shaped for peaceful rest. Uh, sorry, the roots of trees are shaped for peaceful rest, where the mist soothes the heart. I was there last night, and the uh, taste of fruit lingers sharp and sweet as the passage of spring to summer. Okay, so we now have a pawn. That's a heart pawn. And let's bring in... Eh, you know what, we'll just... Uh, we'll bring them, bring them to a higher level. So let's take the Order of the Bloody Cup once again. We will take our chilly atmosphere this time, and we'll just use a higher a higher level of uh, Grail. So, this one is loyal but lacks initiative. My follower will kneel as novice and rise as initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. So this will give the heart aspect for them. And I think, let's go for, I do potentially generate fascination out of this. I think I'm gonna go through the white door again. Again, just on the chance we generate a can uh, a chance that we generate the heart. Oops. It's a puzzle with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in the odd corners of scholarship. Provide erudition or use a library. So, okay, so we currently have 10 moths, so we're good there. I'd love to put money in, um, but we're not quite ready for that yet. We may be in a second, though. The recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. So we've got our dread back. Not that I really wanted the dread. We do have some contentment if I want to get rid of it that way. And we earned absolutely nothing. And we still... <laughs> we earned nothing and I... Uh, we earned nothing and I still have the staleness. So that's particularly annoying. Um, all right. So let's... I might uh, just go to the construction site. Because I... You know, I don't have infinite resources here. Um, let's add Enid. I'm breaking the rule that I had earlier, but... A little, I'm a little gun shy now. After uh, their bewilderment is our opportunity, we'll pass in silent secrecy. All right, this illness has damaged my health. I'll need to rest before I am fully recovered. Cure your affliction with funds or vitality. And we'll see if we generate the vitality. If nothing else, I can use my matchless physique to go to the construction site. Now, now I understand. Oh, actually, we've got Trembling Airs, so in 58 seconds, which is more than enough time. 
I don't need to, uh, I don't need to pursue the, um, the health so aggressively anymore. I do need to pursue money, though. In pain we are born, in hunger we are embraced, in delight we are devoured. These are the gates of the body, and this is her promise. Not all that is born decays. In remembrance of that promise, we give ourselves to the feast. A lively disciple, loyal, and always ready with a song. Okay. I do need to keep Neville open. But here's a way we can make some money. Is it moth? I'm pretty sure it's moth. But... And knock definitely helps, but I am not quite ready to. And I bet it doesn't tell me in the. All right, let's see if we can do it. With... Oh no, no, I got it wrong because this is going to destroy evidence. That's sixty seconds. A duck destroy. <laughs> um. Not quite what I meant to do. All right, I'm just gonna have to leave that. Just wanted to burgle someone. Um, let's go to the Lodge of the Sage Knight. Soak up knowledge as a shadow soaks up light. I may be close to advancement. In last night's dream, I was in the Lodge of the Sage Knight behind the white door. It is difficult to remember exactly how I came there, and the mistress of the place, the woman with the dark glasses, was nodding as if I asked her a difficult question. Of course I hadn't. I lost my speech when I passed the white door. How is it that I can speak, she said to me. I didn't come here through the white door. I'm not proud of what I did to come here, so let me tell you about something else. And we are... Sadly, at the end of our time, I'm actually over. So... I apologize for messing up the Hebe Stanton tonight. Um, I will... I think we can still get to the end of it, but I need to find a way of making some money, and I really messed up by... I mean, I think abducting a stranger will still get me a little something, but I don't quite want to go that aggressive yet. Um, and it will generate notoriety, which is a problem on its own. Um, so yeah, um, I gotta wrap it up here because I know if I go any longer than 20 minutes, it tends to be fairly, fairly bad as far as, uh, viewership retention is concerned. So, sorry about that, and, uh, we will conquer the Hebe Stanton next week. <laughs> See y'all on Wednesday.